uh, Gregory Wheeland, uh, sent me an email about uh, different uh, networks, EVM networks and fees. So I did kind of want to go over that. Um, I learned that lesson uh, many years ago about you got to have the right token in the wallet um, if you're on alternate networks to pay for your fees. And it can be a little bit of a, a, a tricky situation, but uh, I want to talk about it, just to kind of cover that quickly. Uh, Mr. Uh, Gregory Whelan had asked me um, about... Um, he, he was telling me about a, a token that he had uh, somehow he has SAND token, S-A-N-D, um, on the Polygon network. Uh, it ended up there from somewhere else, he said. But he also has SAND in his Ethereum wallet. So you'll see that there are uh, some tokens that live on multiple chains. Uh, but kind of what I wanted to point out was, um, I think, let's see, let's go, let's go back over to this Flex2 um, which I, I refer to as my crypto graveyard. It has a whole bunch of, it had a whole bunch of tokens that, um, you know, I held at one point and now don't. Um, so yeah, um, I remember this Telcoin. Uh, I bought this live on my live stream. And if I recall, I spent 500 bucks on it on a whim because back then I was just throwing money around and someone brought it up in the live stream and I was like, yeah, sure. I'll buy it. And now it's only worth 25. So you got to be careful what you buy on whims these days. Um, yeah. So uh, here's what I wanted to show you. If you, let's say you've got this Tether US dollar in your wallet. It's an ERC20 token. It's on the Ethereum. And if I wanted to transfer that uh, Tether somewhere, I need to have some Ethereum in the wallet. Because Ethereum basically is the, the juice that makes the wallet go. Um, there are blockchain fees. So uh, unfortunately, they won't just take the blockchain fees out of your ERC-20 token. You have to have Ethereum for your gas fees, even if you're dealing with a different token. And that's pretty, people understand that. But let's say you wanted to, like over on the Polygon network, so if you had this wrapped ether or this quick swap, uh, quick swap, I had a lot of that at one point, um, you would need the underlying token polygon. Let me get this big. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah. You would need to have polygon in the wallet in order to transfer any of these sub tokens. That's just how wallets work. So uh, for Ethereum, it's Ether, which kind of makes sense, but it is a little confusing because it's an Ethereum wallet and you need Ethereum for fees. Um, and if you're going to use other tokens, then you need that Ethereum will pay your gas fees. Now on the Polygon network, you don't need Ethereum. You need a Paul or, you know, Polygon token. So I think uh, Gregory was telling me that he had some sand in his Polygon wallet but he apparently he has zero Paul in there um, because because he can't he can't move it. So in this situation, what you would do is you would basically run over to Coinbase or Kraken and buy some Paul and withdraw to this wallet on the Polygon network. Right now, other chains. Um, here's an interesting one: Arbitrum. So if you have Arbitrum. Uh, like I've, I don't have any U.S. dollar coin in here now on the Arbitrum network. Um, I've moved it out of there, but I get sometimes I'll get like uh, some payments that come in on the uh, Arbitrum one network. Well, you need to have some Ethereum, but notice this is not Ethereum Ethereum. This is Arbitrum one Ethereum. So you're like, well, how do you get that? Well, you go over to Coinbase and you buy some Ethereum and then you withdraw it on the Arbitrum 1 network. And then it will show up in that wallet as uh, Arbitrum-based Ethereum. So uh, Coinbase is probably your best bet. So let me just quickly, just for the heck of it, uh, let's do the, the flex. So I'm going to just drop some Ethereum into Coinbase just for the heck of it. Where is it there? Okay, yeah. So we're going to deposit crypto. Um, and uh, we'll say Ethereum. Whoops. 
All right, and then um, it's going to be on the Ethereum network. But look at all the networks they support for Ethereum. Now it's incoming, so it doesn't really matter. Um, they're all it's just going to give me the same address. Uh, but let's go over to our uh, ledger. Let's send some of this this Ethereum. I'm going to paste in the address. That's the Ethereum address of my Coinbase account. Whoops. Uh, how much do I want to send? Let's just send uh, $25 worth of Ethereum. That's going to cost me a penny. All right. Now I need to have the device attached. I'm just going to do a quick one here. So I'm attaching my device. I'm going to enter my pin. Okay. There we go. All righty. So when I hit continue, it's going to check my device. And it's going to say, hey, you need to open. Oh, well, first you need a secure connection. And then uh, now I need to open the Ethereum app. So I do that. And we'll just go ahead and sign off on this transaction. I'll show you what I'm doing over here. Why not? All right. So uh, if we review the transaction. We swipe left. Um, we can see everything that we need. And then uh, we get over here, and then we'll hold the sign. Whoops. Well, sometimes it can be a little tricky. There it goes. All right, so we sent that. That's good. Um, it might take a few minutes to get there. So let's say, for example, that um, in this wallet here, we'll get back to this little conversation, that um, let's like this OP, let's look at this optimism mainnet. Oh, I know. I think it was over here on the stacks. Yeah. Okay. So look at this wallet. This wallet has uh, some Wallet Connect token in there, but the Ethereum balance is, is zero. But it's not Ethereum Ethereum. It's uh, Optimism or OP-based Ethereum, right? And that's a zero balance. So how could I get some... Uh, some base to I want to I don't want to make it confusing by saying base token but the you know the payment token for this type of wallet right these are all different wallets they're all in my they're all based on my ledger stacks and they're all within metamask most people say metamask is a wallet but but technically these are all independent wallets on different chains right so in order to move this wallet connect token I would need some optimism based ethereum in this wallet so let me grab the address and we'll go over here to coinbase and let's say we want to make a withdrawal of ethereum oh, oh i got to put the, the the address in there so that was the address from the wallet um okay they've been, they've sent to this wallet before they know that all of these use the same address format so it, it's thinking well maybe you're trying to withdraw chain link because you got a little bit in your account no I want to withdraw some Ethereum out of my Ethereum balance. Here's where I decide which network I want to uh, withdraw on, right? And uh, so we want to withdraw a little bit on the Optimism network. And um, let's just say 10, right? So uh, this comes out of my Coinbase Ethereum balance. Oh, it just, boom, it's done. All right. So, and now we'll go back to MetaMask and uh, we're on Ledger Stack. Okay, yeah, it's the same address. Uh, let's just refresh the browser and there, see? Now I've got some Ethereum in this wallet that is optimism based that will allow me to move this uh, Wallet Connect token. Now, I believe in um, Greg's um, scenario, he's on Polygon and he has some SAND token. We'll just assume that this, like this tether, is his sand token. He needs some Paul, right? So in that case, I would just uh, withdraw Polygon on the Polygon network. Not too difficult. All right, so let's say I want to do Ethereum to Paul. I think I can do that. Uh, blah, I can't. Okay. Why not? It's... it's I guess not. Okay. <sighs> okay. So Ethereum to dollar. So I have some Ethereum. I want to sell it. Let's just sell part of it. 
okay, let's sell half of it. <laughs> We're going to do market, so it'll happen fast. I know. It cost me nine cents. So let's look at Paul. Okay. Yeah. And I can use um, US dollar or USDC to make my purchase. We'll just boom there. There's my Paul. All right. So now I have some in my account here in my portfolio. There it is. All right. So now we can uh, withdraw the Paul. Let's get back here. Manage funds, withdraw crypto, and okay, so we'll go back to MetaMask, and uh, we want some Polygon in here. Um, it's the same address, actually. All right, um, and there, we, there's like, do you want to withdraw Polygon or Ethereum? They both have the same address format. I want to withdraw Polygon, and I want to withdraw it on the Polygon network, which is its default. Debbie Campbell, thank you for that subscription. Uh, let's just send it all. Uh, and there we go. So it can be a little tricky doing your little conversions, you know, and trying to get the right for the, trying to get the right token and the right network and all that stuff uh, to get something out of the wallet that you're trying to get out. Like, see, now I have some uh, Polygon in this wallet. So if I wanted to withdraw my Tether, I could. Just like Gregory wants to withdraw his sand, which is in his Polygon-based wallet. So uh, that's what you have to do.